G'day, welcome back to another one of these motherfucking things. So, 10th video in, a few more subs, thank fuck for that, appreciate it, glad to have you around, glad you're fucking happy to sit here and listen to this cunt talk shit, it's gross, do appreciate it. So tonight we're going to talk, I've got um, a bit of French black metal, so all the bands that I've got in the pile tonight are, are French, all differ a little bit, but yeah. Um, except a couple, because a couple are from the Black Legions, the LLN. And yeah, cracking fucking releases. Um, in the background, we've got Elitism playing. I have shown that one in a previous video. Fantastic release. Thought, why not chuck it on? It's fucking French. It's fantastic. It's good. So yeah. Off to the land of fucking what? Croissants, baguettes. A dialect that, you know, make you want to just... Walk around the house, fucking dry humping the fuck out of the air or some shit like that because you, you know, you're feeling sexy. So, we're gonna fucking jump in. So the first release I'm gonna show, I was gonna play this one, but fuck it, I won't. I wanna play this. Um, yeah, so this release is by a bloke a lot of us would know through such band, and the, the girl, sorry, from this band as well. So it's more female fronted in the vocals, but yeah, you do have a black metal styling. Um, post-punk um, and yeah with a post-black metal as well they fucking label it as but whatever so yeah the release is um, I'm going to be fucking I'm going to be struggling with this because yeah a lot of them are, have the French fucking twang to it shit ass in English shit ass in French but fucking yeah so that, that is um, Annie Sells sorry about that fucking left but yeah Amy Sowers, and yeah, so it is by um, Niche from Alceste, Peste Noir. Also, the girl Aubrey Sylvain, I believe her name is. They were both in the Peste Noir. Um, yeah, so they put this out, and it's a heap different from their other projects. I believe she's now in a band called Maljuit, something like that. Yeah, something along those lines. I haven't actually given that a listen, but yeah, I only found that tonight. I might give that a crack, but um, yeah. So this is, yeah, has your post-punk, all that kind of shit, but has a bit of a, um, a grunge aesthetic, I think, through it as well. Yeah, very French, but yeah, it does have a, like a bit of a grunge vibe as well for me. Um, yeah, so, see you, Got the foggy fucking, foggy banger in the, in the background, same as the front cover, yeah, city or some shit. And yeah, I think this centers around depression and shit like that. Um, vocals are really good. Um, yeah, so it's, yeah. Uh, Aubrey, I think Audrey? Yeah, she, um, it's basically, yeah, a lot of clean vocals throughout. Um, Neige does pop in with his black metal. There is, you know, a bit of tremolo throughout it. There is, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, the, the drums do kick in, get go pretty hard. But it's quite, yeah, quite an atmospheric release as well. And yeah. Definitely one that I was pretty happy with. I think they only put out a split. They put out an EP at this full length and fucked off when they did other things. But yeah, definitely worth a crack. Little booklet. There you go, got the fellas in there and that. Got that side there. What the fuck's going on with this bloke? But yeah, got a bit of that action. So yeah, a bit different. Definitely not your um, your typical style French black metal at all. But yeah, one I thought I'd show. One worth having a crack at. I'll um yeah, chuck chuck up a bit of a snippet and see what you reckon. Cheers. to the next one hopefully you give that a bit of a flick through so what you thought happy days um next one we're putting up is um uh, from 1995 it is one of the main men from the uh the black legions the lln and yeah it's an absolute fucking bonafide classic for sure the photo on the fucking album is iconic so it is mutilations Vampires of Black Imperial Blood. 
to the boys. One of them looks like fucking obviously Maynard. Looks like he's got on way too much ketamine. Absolutely just sitting there, absolutely fucked out of his skull. And the other big fella, looks like he's just railed the biggest fucking line in the world and just smashed a heap of cocaine off some dead corpse. Look at him, fucked as, fucked as. How do you get, how do you get pupils like that? Fuck isn't, even is that, that's um, yeah. Rocking the dark throne. It does kind of have that um, element through it a little bit as well, once again. Very French sounding though. Um, doesn't really rely on synth or anything like that. It's yeah, your guitars. Um, I think the drums are programmed throughout. Um, this release was, yeah, so put out in 1995, but this is, uh, I think it's a 2019 reissue put out through Osmos. Sick as fuck though, it's, um, yeah, 2 LP. I'll get one of these bangers out. So it's on that black and white split. Fucking sick as. Got that iconic photo on that side. Boys talking shit in the woods. I don't know what they'd be talking about. If one's on cocaine and the other one's on ketamine, they'd be having a fucking pretty wild conversation on tipping, but yeah. Would like to be a fly on the wall. Um, yeah, Innes. Fucking sick as. Yeah. Definitely Maynark at his best. This and I actually really liked Grimly Reborn as well. That was a fucking fantastic album. Yeah. These songs, yeah, Magical Shadows of a Tragic Past. Born Under the Master's Spell. Black Imperial Blood, which is a fucking belter. Ravens of My Funeral, yeah. That's all fucking absolutely mint. I love the photos. The pictures for this is just, it's fucking unreal. Yeah. Got the dirty old bookshelf. Maybe it looks like a fucking bong up there. I don't know what the fuck that is. What is that? I think it's just an old vase, but yeah. I reckon big fella here might have been on this. Got a bit of garden hose out the fucking back and just, yeah, pumped a bit of that into it or something like that. But um, yeah. As I said, cracking release. And yeah. I do believe they've just reissued it again on a red vinyl. So definitely worth, if you haven't got it, it's an essential for your collection, if, especially if you're into your vampiric black metal. These are some of the boys that, you know, got it done first and yeah. Haven't really been caught, I don't think. Yeah, mutilation there, they are, yeah. Are one of the best for what they do. So yeah, give this a listen, get on it. If you haven't listened to it, yeah, definitely worth your time. Fantastic shit. Get around it. Right, oh. So, yeah, that was mutilation, mutilation, how the fuck, whatever you want to say. Either way, um, yeah, so on to the next one. This is a less known project, yeah. Um, one that I only, it only took me one spin to really fucking get around and actually enjoy straight away. Um, I was looking it up on Metallum as well and it, it fucking it copped a bit of heat, this one, and I don't really know why because, yeah, I enjoyed it straight away. Has a really cool um, raw black metal vibe throughout. But yeah, the production's quite, cool, still quite good. But um, yeah, everything after it, yeah, it seemed to get a pretty decent review, but yeah, there's one dude that jumped on and just fucking kind of slammed this, but yeah, for me, it's really cool. Um, so what we are talking about is Sacrificia Montuorum, I think that's how you fucking say that shit. This fucking glossy ass fucking crap. And yeah, the album title is, hang on, I'll get these cunts out too. Um, the events, the events de Lubli, Lubli, what the fuck? Yeah. But yeah, this is album anyway. Um, so yeah, it's, yeah, relatively guitar driven. The, the vocals are, yeah, they're quite, quite raw in the mix. And yeah, 
fucking they, they sit well, actually. Um, there is keys throughout it, but just intermittently. So they start with keys. The album starts with like a real fucking epic sounding, grandiose type key. And then um, as you go to turn to side B, it kind of leads out with keys as well and leads back in on side B. So the keys, yeah, they're not really prominent, but they, yeah, they kind of sit, yeah, sit in, the, sit in the right spots for me. It's, um, yeah. But um, I do believe this um, album centers around paganism and French history. Um, so it's two dudes. Um, Lord R1, I think that's the fucking name of the, the uh, main man. And then you've got Goth Mog, I think he does, yeah. On the back it says guitars and the synth work. So yeah, so there's two guitars in it. Um, the, the drums are programmed throughout. But yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't fucking faze me because it sits in with the music nicely. Everything, it sits quite perfectly. Um, I think this was limited to about 500 copies. Um, Probably no longer able to find it. Maybe on um, eBay or Discogs, you might be able to fucking have a crack at it if you if you think it's some some hot shit. But it's um yeah, who was it put out? It's Sol Soldus in fucking Soldus in Conus or some bullshit like that. So yeah, inside the banger. You can see that fucking shit. Yeah. So you just got your ruined castles. All that kind of stuff. Same on the back. Not a great deal to it. But yeah, this they've only put out the one. There hasn't been a reissue on vinyl or anything like that. As I said, the record did come out in 2005. And this didn't get a pressing on vinyl to 07, till 07. But yeah, I found this through YouTube. And yeah, as I said, one listen for me and I was fucking pretty hooked. So yeah. It's definitely, yeah, definitely worth a crack. Jump on YouTube and have a look anyway. So what you reckon? Yeah. So yeah, that is Sacrificia Mortuorum. And yeah. Kick the fuck out of yourself to that. Cheers. I'm not fucking tell you what it does. It blows me, me away. Yeah. Those vocals, everything's fucking so good. Sits so well. Definitely get on that shit. Get the werewolf promotion and get yourself out. Grab this motherfucker straight away. Anyways, on to that next one. This is another absolutely classic band. Got a reissue of this. Um, yeah, just last year through a Drakkar Productions. I believe this came out in... I think the, um, this compilation came out in about 2005, I think. But yeah, it's got some, um, yeah. The, the blokes in it, you know, they started off with his funeral, went to Kristallnacht, um, yeah. And then they jumped on this. And yeah, joined other dudes and yeah, they created Signor Bonan. And this is, yeah, Consumatum Est. Whatever the fuck that is. This is fucking so good. And yeah, all their releases are fantastic, really. Oh, Blessed in Sin is another one. Um, I think the lead singer for Signor Volan. Um, yeah, I think he plays with Blessed in Sin as well. But yeah, still active, still doing their thing. Yeah, had those issues recently with those. I was supposed to play that Azra Fest, I, I think. And something happened there with fucking other labels and that, and they ended up pulling out. I think Eisenwinter was another one pulled out. Yeah, so there was a bit of a shit show with that, but yeah, apparently that festival was still pretty fantastic, I do believe. I would have loved to have made the swim here from Australia over to fucking Italy just to go and see that kind of a thing, but I, um, yeah, my arms don't work that well. Um, yeah, so yeah, fantastic release. It's a compilation of their earlier works, I do believe. Um, yeah back boys yeah so I don't know whether it's a yeah it's a compilation of 
I think it's just a demos and EPs and all sorts of shit. Yeah, I'm not reading any of that because, once again, make an absolute fucking fuck with myself and, yeah, I do that enough without having to read that shit. Um, yeah, insides. Fucking awesome shit. Look at these dudes. Fucking mint has. Another fucking Edgar Allan Poe pose here. Fucking fantastic. Um, yes, this one came out on a picture disc. Dumped on that shit because it's mint. But it's just got like the, uh, the front cover. Boys on the back. Looking pretty fa fairly pissed off. But yeah, absolute essential, good stuff. It's fairly, um, fairly mid-paced stuff. It does, does have your tremolo and your blast beat shit throughout, but yeah, it's, um, yeah, it tends to, yeah, it's fairly hooky, it just, yeah, grabs you by the tussle, and yeah, it doesn't let go from start to finish. It's just good, and yeah. I'm pretty sure there might be still copies of this one. Our truck are, are pretty good with their releases. They they do release in abundance. Um, I do think Azra may have copies of this. Well, they went out and burnt all the fucking copies because fucking they pulled out of his fucking festival or not. I don't know. He could have burnt the cars. Not too sure. But um, yeah, I reckon you'll find that. You'll probably find that at Dracar. Um, I'm not too sure else, to be honest. Yeah, just fucking check them. Check them two places, I'm, I'm pretty sure you've got to pull a copy of this. So yeah, Signor Balan, Consumatum Est, whatever the fuck. Righto, on to our final release for this evening. This is another release put out through Drakkar. Another fucking absolute classic. Classic band. Um, yeah, part of their LLN, Black Legions, with Old Mate over here. Um, this one came out in 1995 also. Um, it's just a, I believe it's, I think it's a demo. Um, but yeah, this was released on vinyl in 2013 through Drakkar. So you might be hard pressed to find it unless you're looking at, um, yeah, jumping on Discogs once again. Could be there. But yeah, more vampiric shit. And fucking stoked to have this one. And that is Vlad Tepez into Frosty Madness. And that cover is a fucking absolute killer. That cover's got, it's definitely got a, a real ablaze vibe about that, I reckon. Looking grim as fuck, the big fella there, to be honest. It's actually pretty wild, because I, I kind of think, you know, like, they, are, they do look necro as fuck and quite evil, and, you know, like, they'd come up to you and probably, you know, speak some French shit and, like, really, really give you a hard time, like, tell you that they're gonna fucking cut you open, pull your fucking lungs out, and fucking cry back your head in a fucking fridge or something. But you'd think that they're trying to in their French, in their, the French dialect, you'd think they're trying to make you the meanest pastry in the world, and you're like, fuck, this guy's coming on to me. Fuck, I want a bit of that, no, that's pretty sexy, actually, yeah. Just, you know, that, you know, French people, they do have the best, some of the best, the best language in the world, it's fucking, it's, it is, it's, it's good shit. But yeah, back to this. Fantastic stuff, that cover there. They did put a handful of demos all around at the same time. I know they've got, um, was it Celtic Poetry? This one, yeah, they've got like, I think there's about three or four that came out around the same time. Um, yeah, but these blokes have, um, obviously they've got different bands, like Black Murder is another band or project that they feature in. Vampire Commando, I do believe, is another one, but yeah. Does it love whatever the fuck that one is? Does does love does love or some shit like that? Yeah, but heap of projects. They yeah, one and truly split up now. Yeah, not making anything, but 
what they left behind was a pretty fucking, uh, yeah, all essential. Um, the split with Balcatray, fucking, we all know that that's fantastic. It's pretty much a full length between the two of them, put into a, turned into a split, which is fucking unreal. That's cool as fuck. Pretty bare bones on the inside. It does come on black, but it's got a pretty cool, like, little... Well, it's got their, their sigil or whatever the fuck that is. That side. Amy doing his thing. But yeah, very cool release. And yeah, as I said, I'd urge anyone to jump on it if you can find it. It still probably go for a fucking a decent price on tipping, but yeah, you probably just have to jump on Discogs or eBay to grab a copy because I don't think you can find this anywhere else. But yeah, obviously they've released all that that new shot. War Funeral March just got a, re a reissue or a release. Um, yeah, the split got a release. I think it's just been released on tape as well for Drakkar. As I said, their stuff's always in abundance, so you're not going to miss out. And fucking yeah. Get around that cunt with the fucking one of the meanest hen heads in France. Good shit. Cheers. Yeah, just quickly, um, yeah, you would have got a bit of a snippet of that um, Vlad to Pez too. Should have warned everyone, forewarned everyone, because it is pretty dusty, the, uh, the production, obviously. Pretty much, it sounds like a bloody, it was recorded on a fucking, a waxed up fucking old man's hearing aid and a fucking glow in the dark flashlight, which running out of batteries. So, put those two things together and fucking put some black metal in with the mix, in the bowl, stir it around. That's what you fucking end up with. I'm all about it, but yeah. You may not be. On to the next. All right. So that'll probably do it for this one. Um, I'm still a bit knackered because the fact I just went up and I watched um, that more different show up in the city in Melbourne on um, on the Saturday. I'm getting old. I was yeah feeling kind of fucked now. I'm still kind of tired. But I'm having a beer. I'm drinking Italian beer though. It's fucking it's pretty out of character considering we're fucking. Uh, just thrown on the French shit, but what can you do? You drink what's in your fridge, and in my fridge is fucking Peroni. So that's what I'm doing. Or well, as always, fucking awesome to see everyone uh, jumping on board, having a crack. Me and the pug are pretty happy about it. Yeah, hope you like what you're seeing. If not, that's fucking okay too, you don't have to. But cheers for uh, sticking around. We'll see you in the next one. I will, um, I might actually try and do, try and slap a bit of a video together if anyone's interested, just about the more different show. I got a bit of footage from each of the bands and that, and they were fucking unbelievable. Especially um, the first band, which I didn't even realize were gonna be playing, is Gutless, they were fucking fantastic. Full of energy, just like me pug. He's got his fucking little beer collar on, he's happy. He liked fucking Gutless too. It's like, fuck, I got home with a t-shirt, got this t-shirt, and he was like, fucking nice t-shirt, Dad. Fucking appreciate that. Anyways, I'll stop talking shit, I'll stop rambling, fucking hit the subscribe, hit the likes, whatever, do what the fuck, don't, if you don't want to, you don't have to do that. I'm going to have a sip of me beer, I'm going to fuck off, I'm going to let you do your thing. It's a Monday night, who gives a shit? Fucking get into it, cheers. Mm -hmm.